In this shortcut tutorial I will show you how to crop and resize video clips. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in shortcut. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I've brought these two clips into shortcut, so I'm just going to drag the first clip into the timeline track. You just extend the length a bit. Um, so the first sort of crop that you may want to do is really just the zoom. So I'm going to just um, effectively zoom in to make this uh, Bentley here look a bit larger in the monitor. So to do this you just come down to filters and left click and select add a filter by left clicking on the plus sign and you should see something called size and position. Just left click on this and you'll get this sort of border come up now rather than changing sizes here, all you need to do is just place your pointer over the corner, hold your left mouse button down and you should be able to drag your clip. Though sometimes it can be a bit fiddly and increase the size on the corners so you get a kind of zoom effect that you're looking for. And also, although you can't see it very well, there is a little button in the middle which you can hover your mouse over and then hold your left mouse button down and reposition your clip. And that's basically how you can sort of crop by zooming in to um, on a video clip. Incidentally you can also keyframe these. You use this little clock here. I won't go into keyframing but I will leave a link to um, my pan and zoom slideshow for a shortcut that goes into uh, keyframing a bit um, more so effectively you are actually zooming in on this particular clip okay I'm going to bring another clip in now so I'm going to just right click and then left click add video track and this will bring a track above the first one go back to your playlist and I'm going to drag this clip into video track 2 and make sure that you can actually see the video you may have to move it about a bit it can be a bit lumpy um, shortcut um, I'll just snap this end up here to match okay so with this one selected what I would do is go back into filters and then left click on the plus sign and instead of having favorites selected you want to go into um, show video filters it'll say video and somewhere in this section you should see something called cropped or crop rect angle left click on this and again you've got the option of the corner pins so I'm going to just drag this to make it more like a square video. So that's not quite but almost square. In fact I'll move this a bit more. Okay. But one thing you will find that you can't actually see the video behind. So you've got this padding colour here, there's a little black box. If you left click on it, you'll get this um, colour graph come up. We'll just choose a colour. Next to Alpha Channel, it should say something like 255. Just overwrite this by typing in 0 and hit return and you should be able to see the video behind. And now all you need to do is just scale this video in size. And to do that, just left click on plus, 
and just go back to favorites it's easier to find your size and position tab if click on size and position and you can now drag the video down in size I don't know go for this you can do it from this corner here and you can also use the middle little button and carefully drag your video over so that it's somewhere in a position that you want to leave it and you should end up with a cropped video within a another cropped video and that's all there is to it really I'm not going to go into any um, export details the only thing I would say obviously I've now got two videos I may not want to have the audio playing on one or either of them so I would just mute the audio if that was the case on both or leave the audio running on one um, sometimes you're better off first rendering and then adding audio afterwards so I'm going to just mute both the audio and then I would go ahead and export and that's all there is to it really so hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers